Right now, Black Education, the event happening this weekend to prepare children to excel. More snow is on the way. We're taking a look at the weekend forecast, how much you could see and when. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We've made it. I'm Leah Lynchai. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for joining us. This weekend marks the third annual Black History Education Conference. It's a place where teachers, students, and community members can come together and share ideas. Taylor Lazenby is live with more on how the conference is set to shape the next generation of black leaders. Hi, Taylor. Hi guys, good morning. That's right, the Black Education Conference and their slogan is, and how are the kids doing? Black children and education matters. This two-day conference will celebrate and discuss the number of high levels of achievement for those often being underserved in our school systems and our communities. Now, I spoke with some of the event organizers who say education matters should feel like home. No matter the race, it's an opportunity to grow and look at new ways to shape black students to excel. It is an answer to a call, an uh, answer to a call of how we close achievement gaps, attitude gaps, opportunity gaps, and also just bringing people together that I had encountered in my work. So guys, the conference will consist of two days and each day will consist of keynote speakers, breakout sessions, and a lot more. So coming up in the next half hour, we're gonna talk about some of those events that they have planned on their schedule and where you can find information to sign up. Taylor Lazenby, thank you very much. To our coronavirus headlines now, the COVID-19 variant first discovered in the UK, now officially in Dane County. The first case was reported yesterday. Local health officials say the individual who tested positive for the strain has had no recent travel history outside of Dane County. Researchers believe this strain spreads more easily, more rapidly than the original, but is not necessarily more deadly. Cases, meanwhile, are heading in the right direction across Wisconsin. For a week straight, there have been fewer than 1,000 new cases a day. More than 40,000 doses of the vaccine have been administered in the last 24 hours. On the state level, about 13% of Wisconsin's population has received their first dose of the vaccine. About 5% of the state has completed both doses. In Dane County, things are looking a little bit better. About 16% of the county's half a million residents have received at least one dose. Around 7.5% have received them both. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services launching a new website next month. It aims to help people find places to get their vaccines and tell them when an appointment is available. However, DHS says the site won't be a comprehensive list of all vaccination options. Healthcare systems, pharmacies like Walgreens and local health departments may already have their own scheduling software. It's been more than two weeks now since the federal transportation face mask requirement was put in place. So far, the TSA says they have fewer than 1,000 reports of violations. The agency is enforcing a national requirement to wear masks when traveling on planes as well as trains and buses. If you don't, the first offense will cost you $250. Repeat offenders could be fined $1,500. If it's provided, They'll use it. That's what CDC researchers have found when it comes to providing workers with personal protective equipment. The study looked at survey answers from workers last June who didn't use PPE at work before the pandemic. 29% used PPE if they had to bring it themselves. Researchers found use doubled, though, if PPE was provided. More than half of those who use PPE in the study were required to do so by employers. Experts say food and food packaging are highly unlikely to spread COVID. That's according to the FDA, the Department of Agriculture, and the CDC. Those three agencies sent out a reminder this week stressing the lack of credible evidence to suggest that food or its packaging were associated with transmission of the virus. The FDA says COVID is generally spread from person to person, different from foodborne viruses that can make people sick through contaminated food. 603 now, let's turn it over to Miss, Mr. Reese and our first sworn <laughs> weather. How's it going? Oh, well, good morning. There we are watching that temperature drop slightly this morning, but we're still warmer than we have been. We were in the double digits. We're now in the single digits. We've dropped from 10 to 9, but the air is calm, so our wind chill, not much of a factor out there. 7 degrees is what you're waking up to in Janesville. Good morning there. Good morning to Watertown at 9. Good morning to Lone Rock at 6. And good morning to our friends over in Mineral Point waking up at 5 degrees. 
degrees this morning. Watoma, you're also warm at 14. Here's Doppler track, though. As you step outside, you'll notice clouds, but in general, skies or, or the weather itself is going to be quiet as Doppler track remains clear. But what we're watching is this system already gaining strength over the Rockies. I have a friend in Missoula, Montana. He's telling me about the snow coming down this morning. This is our next snowmaker as we start to move into the weekend. Watch it arrive from the west. Here we are now into Sunday afternoon, and we're expecting snow to be right on top of us here in south central Wisconsin. But that zips on out of here by Monday. It is gone. With that being said, we're in the yellow now two to three days away from this, even though there's still so much that can change at this point. It's a good idea to start thinking about the plan. Is there anything you need ahead of light snow, something you need to restock or something you need to get done uh, so that you're not driving on snowy roads into Sunday? We have time, though, before we actually put out the official forecast. Things have an opportunity to change. Here we are. This is tonight, this afternoon, rather, 3 o'clock. Temperatures are right around 19. Now we move into tonight. Your overnight low falls down towards 3 degrees below zero. We'll see sunshine to start out Saturday. Saturday tops out into the 20s, but watch how the clouds start to move in. Now we're on Sunday morning, and watch the clock. This is now Sunday afternoon. Widespread snow has now moved into the picture. This is when we'll see the worst travel conditions going through your weekend. It's not all that much snow, though. It'll likely be about one to three inches, but some of the models are trying to up the ante and make that more of perhaps a three to five inch snow. It disappeared on me again, so I'll make sure I'll show that to you coming up in about the next five to ten minutes. 31 for Sunday. 40 is a possibility and a real possibility as we move into your Tuesday. We're back right around the freezing point, though, as we go through the rest of the week into the weekend. Temperatures looking good, Chris Reese. So while uh, we aren't seeing the same COVID transmission in cats and dogs, the pandemic itself has been a burden on Madison area veterinarians, and it's impacting how they're able to care for our pets. Vets didn't make the final cut for this current tier of vaccinations in Wisconsin. Madeline O'Neill explains why and what they say would help. Hey, how are you? As our furry companions help us. And certainly help with families that have are experiencing loneliness, uh, as well as mental health issues. Okay. Veterinarians like Dr. Kai Shu are here to help them. Hi, buddy. Fred's assistance goes beyond his best friend. Our relationship is uh, very close, to say the least. To all of Janesville. He's keeping our community safe, and we're doing our part to try and keep Fred comfortable. Good dog. Yeah. Along with the bad guys. Okay, big guy. Canine Fred is fighting cancer. Uh, but he has just done a really amazingly well. Without his oncology appointments. I'd probably be without my partner. And whether they fight crime or not, that's a thought most pet owners don't want to imagine. Emergency clinics uh, have really seen a, a huge increase in wait time. Chu says at the same time the pandemic is discouraging already burdened workers, it's encouraging record pet adoptions. Um, so we've got this high increased demand of caseload as well as a struggling workforce, um, and that's really impacted our ability to, to, to care for patients. More preventative care is getting shifted to urgent care facilities, meaning diseases get diagnosed later on, as other clinics feel the weight of the pandemic as well. It's been really hard. I would say most days we turn people away. The goal is to be a place to turn. WISCARES, a branch of UW, offers subsidized care for people experiencing homelessness or financial constraints. Because of the work we do, I feel like we can keep families together, including their animals. Caseloads are up. Just due to COVID and job loss and loss of revenue and increased hardship, um, a lot more people qualify for our services. The veterinary industry in general is busy. Thank you, at Precision Veterinary, the low-cost clinic has had to stop accepting new patients for their spay and neuter services because of health protocols. And it leaves us feeling really helpless, too, like when we can't, you know, help when we get calls coming in. And, you know, especially when they're like, well, I've tried everywhere else. They are continuing wellness services with the precautions they can take. This isn't the sort of job you can do remotely. But say vaccinations would make a world of difference for veterinary care in general, preventing potentially devastating hospital closures from staff needing to quarantine. For a massive increased demand, massive crash in supply, now you've created a huge problem where somebody dies that didn't need to. To keep helping our pets, Shu says the vaccine could go a long way in helping them. The community needs us more, more so than ever. 
Now, vet workers say they're also critical from the public health perspective because they're at the front lines looking at pets who could have the next emerging virus. 609 now, coming up, the future of street eateries in Madison. How long we could see them stick around? And good morning, everyone. I'm Josh Breider. Ahead in the 608, I take you inside a Madison Ballet School focusing on life lessons over competition. If you're watching News for Now this morning. We thank you for that, and we'll be right back. It's the A1 Furniture and Mattress Instant Cash Back Event. Save up to 40% off store-wide. Plus, get $50 instant cash back on every $500 you spend. Take advantage of four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in-store or online only at A1 Furniture. Your parents spent years taking care of you. But as the years go by, it becomes your turn to take care of them. This might mean trusting a nursing home, which promises to care for them as cherished loved ones. But if the nursing home you've chosen is not keeping their promise, we can help. If your parents have been injured in a nursing home, call Habish, Habish & Rotier. We fight for what's right. This is one of the biggest furniture events of the year. The President's Sale at Slumberland. Come on. Slumberland Furniture has the best prices around on all sorts of furniture. And right now at our President's Sale, everything is an additional 25% off our already low price. This is totally you. Oh. Yeah, this is the winner. Well, hello Slumberland. Get your look for less at the huge President's Sale at Slumberland. We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving, which comes in handy, no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. How to change the way you pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Right now, get the classic Italian for just $11. Papa Murphy's. Life has changed over the past year, but what hasn't changed is Meineke continuing to make your safety our number one priority. Make an appointment now and save $10 on all oil change packages. Meineke Car Care Center is here to help keep you safe on the road. Madison Magazine's Restaurant Week is new and updated for 2021. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course menu at a special price for dining in at the restaurant or for takeout that you can enjoy at home. Dining with a choice. Don't miss Restaurant Week 2021, February 22nd through the 27th. Additional support provided by Wisconsin Beef Council and E&J Gala Winery. For Restaurant Week menus and details, visit madisonmagazine.com. Get instant cash back on every mattress purchase over $500 only at A1 Furniture. Save up to 40% off top name brand mattresses. Plus get instant cash back and four years free financing with qualified purchase. Shop in store or online now at A1 Furniture. 612 now. New tax cuts are coming for struggling businesses. The governor signed a law yesterday reducing taxes by nearly half a billion dollars for businesses that accepted loans to help them through the pandemic. The new law makes those loans tax deductible under Wisconsin's tax code. An update to the state's unemployment insurance system could be headed to the governor's desk as soon as next week. The state Senate has approved a bipartisan bill that would begin updating the system within the Department of Workforce Development. Governor Evers has blamed the technology issues for causing delays in processing claims that were filed during the pandemic. The bill now goes to the Assembly for a vote, which could happen as soon as Tuesday. Another 860,000 Americans have filed for first-time unemployment claims. The Department of Labor says the number of claims is 100,000 higher than what economists predicted. Another half a million Americans also filed for benefits through the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program. Madison Mayor Santia Rhodes-Conway says City Council will consider extending the city's streetery program until the spring of 2022. Last summer and fall, downtown restaurants were able to spill out into the streets. It was a way for the city to support restaurants and allow a safer dining option. Rhodes-Conway says restaurants with parking lots will also be allowed to use it as additional space without regulation from the city. Around the state this morning, more town of Campbell
Campbell wells have tested positive for man-made chemicals. These wells are outside of the original and expanded testing area. Some are in public buildings. The concern is PFAS. Levels in nearly half of homes are so high the Department of Health Services says the water is unsafe to drink, cook with, or use to brush your teeth. A decrease in fertility in women and an increase in some types of cancer are just some of the possible side effects. The town board is asking the city of La Crosse for help again after their request for expanded testing was denied back in December. Facebook says it wants to bust some of the myths related to climate change. The company is adding a new section to the existing climate change hub on its site. Facebook has lined up experts from three universities for this section, and their job will be to identify and debunk myths about climate change on Facebook with scientific facts. One expert from the University of Cambridge says those myths are so damaging that they are hurting international efforts to deal with climate problems. Power is slowly being restored to millions in Texas who were left in the dark and the cold, but the crisis is far from over this morning. Two-thirds of Texans now have no drinkable water. That's leading some to boil snow or search for bottled water. Houston is opening several sites today to help residents, but in many places there are still long lines for food and empty shelves. Some customers are also seeing stunningly high increases in their power bills. Monday, it's $1,124.95. It's like, okay, do I feed my family or do I run the heat? Which one do I do? Texas power officials say Sunday night they were just seconds or minutes away from the entire collapse of the energy grid, which potentially would have left millions of people in the dark for months. They say the only reason that was avoided was because of the rolling blackouts they had implemented. NASA's Perseverance rover is sending images from Mars right now after a successful landing. After a six-month journey, the spacecraft will now look into whether life once existed on the red planet. This is the fifth and most sophisticated rover NASA has ever sent to Mars. And be sure to keep an eye on Twitter. The rover is posting updates. The rover sent its first tweet from the Martian surface shortly after landing, saying, I am safe on Mars. Perseverance will get you anywhere. So cute. I said earlier, this is just such a testament to the ingenuity of humans. Stunning, stunning pictures were coming out of that. I think we have some over on channel3000.com if you'd like to take a look. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, and part of this mission, I believe, is to, to gather some rocks and then send them back to Earth. Ooh, some Mars rocks. I like yeah. the sound of that. <laughs> no, it sounds cool. Those. Okay, 616. Let's get to Mr. Reese's Out of This World forecast. Well, thank you, Leah. I was going to say I love that the rover has like a little personality uh, that is <laughs> tweeting there. So I'm going to have to go give that a follow. What we're watching for the weekend is the tale of two stories, really. Saturday is going to be a quiet day, sunshine. It's also the colder day as temperatures are only into the 20s. By Sunday, it's a more active weather day. Snow's going to be moving in, especially into the afternoon, but we're also warmer. Temperatures will be right around 31. It has been a while since we've actually seen temperatures of that warmth. Here we are with storm systems that have been traversing the country. One is leaving the eastern seaboard. The other one is back towards the west. That actually will be our snowmaker as we begin to move into the weekend. But for now, we're clear out there. A little bit of cloud cover, but radar is overall quiet. You're starting to see a little pink on the horizon as the sun starts to come up. Nine is the temperature right now. We do have the cloudy skies or wind chills also down down at nine. Some of us are even colder. Check out Middle Point waking up at five degrees this morning and zero for our friends over in Platteville. Monroe waking up at three. We look ahead. We plan your day. The clouds start to clear out so we see sunshine. By the time we get you towards 10 o'clock, we're back into the double digits in terms of temperature. 16 by lunchtime. I look for those highs right around 19 to 20 degrees today. Ooh, hitting the 20s. I like the sound That's of that. That's very possible. Thank you, Chris. 618 now. If your child is a fan of fairy tales and dancing, there's a unique opportunity for you here in the 608. Storytime Ballet has been a popular hit for the last two decades in Madison, and Josh Breider got an inside look at what the experience is all about. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. This was pretty cool. Today I'm introducing you to a very unique and enchanting children's ballet school. And what makes this different is that it combines classical ballet with fairy tales and famous ballet stories. Meredith Mast first founded Storybook Ballet in 2000, and you'll find her current studio on the bottom level of Hilldale Mall. She's a former professional ballerina, but her dream was to create a school that would foster a love of ballet and teach the fundamentals of classical ballet technique all with a touch of magic. Her school's curriculum is based on almost 20 years of teaching children and over 40 years of studying the art form.
we have the opportunity to teach our students so many things besides the physical components of ballet. We teach um, manners, we teach focus, we teach discipline, we teach elegance, we teach musicality. Now her classes are offered specifically for ages three to nine with five levels of ballet classes within those ages. Storybook Ballet is also non-competitive and non-recital focused, unlike many other forms of ballet. She says that tends to release some of the nerves and pressure of the others. And coming up in our next half hour, we'll talk more about how COVID-19 impacted Storybook Ballet and what precautions and options they have for those interested in getting their kids involved, guys. So Josh, I don't know if you knew this about me, but I used to take ballet when I was younger. Are you surprised? Wow, that is actually surprising, Leah. That is pretty cool. I've never done ballet, but I think it'd be pretty cool. And it's, I just like the way that she did it is, you know, she would read a book to start and then you'd kind of act it out. And it just felt very impactful. And I thought that was really cool to get the kids involved and also teach those life lessons at the same time. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I know anybody would be surprised that I took ballet or that I did anything like that because I'm so clumsy. I'm constantly spilling coffee. <laughs> doing ridiculous stuff. <laughs> so, looks like a great place. Josh Breiner, thank you very much. Remember to let, know, let Josh know uh, what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email at in the 608 at wictv.com. 620 still ahead after a long stretch of single digit and negative temperatures. We're finally warming up a little bit. Chris Reese will tell you just how warm it'll get coming up. And coming up in our next half hour, a higher risk than originally thought. The latest data on how COVID affects pregnant women. Stay with us. This portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by Groover Law Offices. One call, that's all. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour and start using the power swabs five minute solution just snap swab and smile after just seven days the results were awesome power swabs was easy to use every day and each day i could see it better and better and from beginning to end it's definitely whiter uh, they look clean they feel clean um and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, by ordering in response to this advertisement, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free Free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. Stop into Rubens today for our annual dining sale. Save up to 40% on fine dining. Rubens has beautiful dining room tables, chairs, and buffets for your home. Choose from sleek, modern dining imported from Italy. Solid birch dining in all finishes and sizes. Invest in heirloom furniture. Rubens has many dining tables and chairs in stock for immediate delivery. As always, Rubens designers offer free design service. Coming today for Rubens' annual dining room sale on now. Cobison Buses, now hiring. After we backed that bus out of its stall and started driving, I just loved it. We really get a chance to get to know each other. Almost everyone has a different story about how they came to bus driving. So you really end up feeling like you're part of a family. Visit cobison.com to apply. 
Welcome back. Country music legend Dolly Parton is turning down a statue in her honor. She asked state lawmakers to remove a new bill that would put up a statue of her on Tennessee State Capitol grounds. Parton says given all that's going on in the world right now, she doesn't think it's an appropriate time to put her on a pedestal. A tweet posted to her account on Thursday says she's honored, but she just doesn't want the bill passed. Dolly said she'd be open to the idea of a statue in the near future, but for now she says she'll continue to make Tennessee proud. Now, how many folks do you know who would do something like this? Yeah, I know. What, what's not to love about Dolly Parton, you right? Chris Reese, you lived in Tennessee for a little bit. Everybody loves Dolly there, right? Yeah, well, it was Kentucky, not Tennessee. Oh, but, okay. yes, I was going to say we do... Love Dolly Parton in Kentucky. I grew up on, on some of her songs, so I Didn't we all? Didn't we all? I know. So Just a I was going to say, lady. I look up to her. And then Disney Channel. Um, <laughs> she was, uh, I think it was the show Hannah Montana, if anyone's yes. familiar with that one. She, um, I think in real life, is Hannah Montana's godmother. But even in the show, she was her godmother. So I thought that was really cool. But yes, I'm very familiar with Dolly Parton. Quite a right throwback. Hannah Montana. Oh, my goodness. Best of both worlds, Leah. Love it. All right, All right. Chris, give us a quick check. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be watching the weekend. Uh, snow chances will be on the increase. We have some cloud cover out there right now. That should be going by the wayside in a matter of time. Nine is our temperature. So bundle up as you're headed out. But even still, it's warm. Once again, I did not warm up my car this morning. Uh, before heading into work. It's three in Monroe and zero in Platteville. Doppler track shows a couple of flurries throughout the Badger State, but for the most part, things are quiet. Our next storm system is over the Rockies right now. That's going to be diving through the plains and working its way towards the Great Lakes. So here we are. Future track shows this happening right into Sunday afternoon. That should be right on top of us. But here we are clearing out. More clouds are expected this afternoon. Thank you, Chris. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back after a quick break. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The iconic Chula Vista Resort, Wisconsin's most complete resort experience. 80,000 square feet of indoor water park fun. Loads of other fun kids love. Hundreds of completely renovated rooms. Take a break at the iconic Chula Vista Resort. Did you know that 178 million Americans are missing at least one tooth? It's, it's true. true. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we only focus on tooth replacement solutions. Whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dental implants, we have an experienced dentist who can create a new smile just for you. At a price that's affordable. Because at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we want you to go, go ahead, ahead and, and smile. smile. Keep more presidents in your pocket during Steinhoffel's President's Day Sale. Take 35% off store-wide, plus get an extra $100 off, and get great deals like any size Sealy mattress, $99. This power recliner, $299. A queen panel bed, just $629. Five-piece dining set, only $829. Steinhoffel's has the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses at the guaranteed lowest prices. So save big during Steinhoffel's President's Day Sale. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. Are you sick of the areas of your home being cold in the winter or hot in the summer? Your house is a complete system of components that need to work together, similar to the human body. Just like us, your home needs to breathe too. If we're letting our home breathe fresh air, we'll be healthier and regulate our temperature better. Wouldn't it be great if we could show you all the areas needing improvement in just minutes without tearing the house apart? That is what our thermal imaging does for you. It will show the temperature differences and areas of air exchange. Then you'll know what areas need to be improved. Just like going to the doctor, except these doctors do house calls. This will also help in preventing the entrance of harmful pollutants inside your house. You can now easily bring down the energy bills and have a durable and safe home environment with Fry Construction. Visit FryConstruction.com to schedule your free professional house call with a thermal imaging and insulation specialist. 
Madison Magazine's Restaurant Week is new and updated for 2021. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course menu at a special price for dining in at the restaurant or for takeout that you can enjoy at home. Dining with a choice. Don't miss Restaurant Week 2021, February 22nd through the 27th. Brought to you by the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund, helping veterans, elderly, and disabled neighbors in need. For Restaurant Week menus and details, visit madisonmagazine.com. The iconic Chula Vista Resort, Wisconsin's most complete resort experience. 80,000 square feet of indoor water park fun. Loads of other fun kids love. Hundreds of completely renovated rooms. Take a break at the iconic Chula Vista Resort. Protecting pregnant women. Vaccine trials are finally including expecting moms. Why some are pushing for them to be considered top priority despite having scarce data. And it is the best of both worlds headed into the weekend. Half with sunshine, half with snow. We're going to time out that snow chance. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Give the people what they want. More smile Chris away, you boys. Smile away. <laughs> 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 That's good stuff. All right, thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynchon. Our headlines this morning, the coronavirus variant that was first discovered in the UK is officially in Dane County now. Local health officials reported the first case yesterday. Officials say the person who tested positive for the strain has had no recent travel even outside of the county. Researchers believe this strain of the virus spreads more easily and more rapidly than the original, but is not deadlier. Dr. Zorba spoke with Live at 4 about this strain. He says the initial data shows the vaccines out there still seem to be effective against these strains and that getting a vaccine should not be scary. It's one-tenth the risk that you were ever going to be hit by lightning. So the fact is, if you're not afraid of storms outside, don't be afraid of the vaccine. Dr. Zorba says allergic reactions aren't uncommon, but are not serious. He says other preventative measures like masking up, washing your hands, and keeping your distance are more important now than ever. New this morning, pregnant women are finally being included in COVID vaccine research. Expecting moms in Pfizer's trial have received their first doses. 4,000 healthy pregnant women between 24 and 34 weeks along are enrolled. The trial won't just look at the safety of the vaccine for the women, but also for their babies. Infants will be monitored until they turn six months old. Health officials say pregnant women are at an increased risk for severe illness from COVID-19, but there isn't much data on whether vaccines are safe for them or their unborn babies. And we're learning that risk to pregnant women could be much higher than previously thought. A study published this week shows infection rates among pregnant women were 70% higher than among other adults around the same age. For pregnant black women, those rates were between two and four times higher than expected. Researchers believe this could be because women are overrepresented in essential jobs like healthcare and education. The study suggests future moms should get a higher priority when it comes to vaccinations. Latest numbers of the coronavirus from across the state now. Cases are still headed in the right direction. A week straight now, we've uh, had fewer than 1,000 new cases a day. A little more than one in 10 people in Wisconsin have gotten their first COVID dose. About 5% have been fully vaccinated. According to the CDC, the state now ranks ninth in the country in daily cases given per capita, which is a big improvement. The Journal Sentinel reports the federal government has increased its vaccine allocation to the state by 64% over the past month, but still demand is outpacing supply. The state asked for 350,000 doses next week, but only got about a, we'll only get about a third of that. Community leaders are asking for support this morning as they work to create a bronze statue of Wisconsin trailblazer Val Phillips. The effort started this summer when community members pointed out there's no representation of people of color around the state capitol. Organizers chose Phillips as the person they wanted to honor. If my mom were here, she would be, uh, well, first of all, she'd be standing here and she would be about as excited as maybe I'd ever seen her. Phillips holds a long list of firsts, including the first black woman to graduate from UW's law school, the state's first black judge, and the first person of color elected to a statewide office. Her statue would be a first as well, the first to memorialize a person of color on state capitol grounds. Organizers are more than halfway to their fundraising goal. 
6.33 right now, organizers of a Black History Month conference at UW-Madison hope to eliminate gaps here in Wisconsin by focusing on the next generation. Taylor Lazenby is live this morning with a student perspective on the program. Hi, Taylor. Hi guys, good morning. That's right. This will be the third year that the Black Education History Education Conference will be held at UW virtually. It aims to look forward this year while also learning and acknowledging things in our past. Now, it's all about coming up with solutions to help eliminate the gaps that exist in the state and local level of Wisconsin and across the country right now. Some different panels this year include, we'll take a look into equality in our schools, STEM professionals of color, and promoting self-worth. Now, I spoke with Ari Davis. Now, he's the conference student leader coordinator on what brings him back year after year. It feels like a family when I go in there. It feels like my, my, a, a big family, a big family. We're all learning. We're learning how to improve education for, for ourselves and others. Um, and, and, I, and I just look forward to the, to the feeling and, and the happiness and joy that I get from being around the people that I know love me. So. At the end of the two-day conference, participants will be eligible to receive an evidence of participation certificate once they complete that. So guys, it's a great conference for you to learn a little bit more about black history, also about black education and what they're trying to do in the state. Now get more information on how you can sign up and participate. We have a link to that on our website. That's at channel3000.com. Taylor Lazenby, thank you very much. 635 now, no surprise here. Forward Giannis Antetokounmpo from the Bucks will be a starter for the 2021 All-Star Game. It's going to be his fifth straight season as a starter. That game's going to take place March 7th. For the first time, the All-Star Game and each of the other marquee events will all happen on the same day. The Skills Challenge and the three-point contest will happen before the game. The Slam Dunk Contest will happen at halftime. LeBron James and Kevin Durant will be team captains. They'll pick teams in the All-Star Draft, similar to how it's gone the past two years. You ready to see a Brewers game? Oh, yeah. Well, the team hopes to welcome back as many as 16,000 fans and employees to American Family Field for opening day. MLB.com reports the Brewers have submitted a 350-page COVID safety plan to the city health department. It calls for about 35% capacity at the stadium to start with, hopefully more fans added after that. Opening day coming up quick here, April 1st. Chris Reese sure isn't feeling like baseball weather out there this morning. Not yet, but I'll tell you what, we're feeling better than we have been all week long, and we're now starting to see the sun shine throughout some of that cloud cover that we had out there. Beautiful shot. Always a beautiful shot over our Edgewater Sky Camera there, but our temperature is at 9 degrees. You do see the cloud cover being reported at the airport. It's going to take a moment before that start to recognize, starts to recognize uh, the sunshine that we have out there. Winds coming out of the west, uh, but overall temperatures are fairly chilly. 7 is our temperature in Janesville. Good morning to Monroe waking up at 2. Boscobel, good morning at 4. Baroqua, good morning at 2. Platteville waking up at 2 degrees below zero. Now we look at Doppler track and things are all clear. You see a couple of blue blips at times. Ultimately, it's not a big deal. Maybe a flurry reached the ground last night, but for the most part, we're dry this morning. That changes, though, in a little over 48 hours as our next storm system is already developing over the Rockies. This is going to be working towards us as we go through time. Future track shows us very well. Watch how it moves in, and here we are into Sunday afternoon. Widespread snow is expected across the upper Midwest at this point. That zips out of here quickly though. By the time you get towards Monday, not only is the storm gone, but the cold starts to be beaten up just a little bit as temperatures start to warm up. That being said, we're still about two to three days away from the accumulating snow potential. This is what I call the game plan zone. At this point, in the winter, we're all prepared for snow, but we've had so much. You might be out of salt or ice melt or anything you may need. So well, there's still a lot of time. Things are still possible, but start developing that game plan should the snow come our way. Let's take you hour by hour into the weekend, shall we? 19 this afternoon. We're cooling down overnight tonight. I expect those lows just below zero, and then we warm up to the low 20s underneath that sunshine tomorrow. Once the snow starts to move in, though, here we are into your Sunday. That's starting to arrive and into Sunday afternoon. Widespread snow is going to be expected. Overall, we're looking at about one to three inches 
of snowfall accumulation there. Some areas may pick up the two to four inch range. We just have to watch the trend as we go through the next 24 to 48 hours and we'll truly get a much more clear picture. But I'm confident in saying one to three inches of snow is expected. We could be close to 40 though by the time we get you towards Tuesday and Wednesday that we're back around freezing for the rest of that forecast and in the next week. It'll be nice. Traffic wise, things are all fairly smooth. We are seeing our typical brake lights showing up on East Washington there. No big issues throughout Dane County. That's some other good news when it comes to the snow chance coming. It's on Sunday and not Monday, but even still, once things wrap up, we may have an impact to that Monday morning commute. Now, if I know you well, Chris, and I think I do, I think you're more excited for that snow than you are for the warm up. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Yeah, no, it's it's still winter until March 1st. Let's bring all the snow. <laughs> I'm ready. Chris so. Reese tracking it for yeah. us every day. We appreciate it. Thank you. 639 now we have an update to a situation out of Beloit this morning. Beloit officers say they have a suspect in custody after what they're calling a domestic disturbance overnight. It started in Janesville around 9. The suspect ran off from police sparking a chase into Beloit where officers had to use stop sticks to disable his car. The man then ran off making his way into the Beloit College neighborhood before officers were able to arrest him two hours later. And some new information now from the NTSB about the deadly plane crash in Janesville. A spokesperson says the plane had taken off from Appleton and was trying to stop at the southern Wisconsin Regional Airport to refuel. The plane had been on its way to Florida. The pilot reported engine trouble to the tower shortly before his crash. The NTSB says the plane will now be removed and taken to a secure location. A final report, though, could take up to two years to complete. Take a look at this incredible video this morning. In the spotlight there, you're going to see a car driven by an alleged drunk driver flying off the Marquette Interchange in Milwaukee. The driver hit one level of the highway, then fell down to another. The 27-year-old woman driving the car survived. Deputies say she'd been driving from the south, headed west on the interchange when she skidded off the road and fell onto the ramp on 794. She was taken to the hospital and faces a possible OWI charge. In an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Governor Evers, News 3 Now's Naomi Coles pressed the governor on his budget proposals. It includes a plan to raise taxes by a billion dollars over two years. You promised not to raise taxes when you were campaigning, both in your first and now your second budget. There's tax increases. Uh, what's your response on that? And is there a room to accomplish your proposals without raising taxes? It's with a manufacturing uh, tax, and it's for people that uh, make a fair amount of money. Uh, and that, that results in, in a tax increase for them. But we've got an equally, almost equally large tax decrease for people that struggle. So it's about fairness. Republicans have called some of the governor's key issues like Medicaid expansion, marijuana legalization, and the repeal of Act 10, as well as raising the minimum wage, as all dead on arrival in the legislature. The governor did address those concerns in the full interview, which you can watch right now at channel3000.com. 641 now. We have some evidence to back up your coffee addiction this morning. Could be good for your heart. A review on three new studies shows drinking at least one cup of plain coffee a day is linked to a reduced risk of heart failure. The same can't be said for decaffeinated coffee, though. In fact, the opposite was true. Researchers warn this doesn't prove causality, that one causes the other, but rather that it's a good sign for keeping coffee in your otherwise healthy diet. Now, this is good to hear because coffee isn't really a choice for me in the mornings. It's a necessary part of life. I might as well hook myself up to an IV. You, you don't stuff. really like the flavor or the taste of it. You just, you're just in it for the kick, right? Yes, I don't care what kind of coffee you're feeding me. It is truly for survival at this hour <laughs> of the morning. That's all I need. Why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we do it's, it's our job. It's our job. Chris Reese over there, since Why you're talking. You <laughs> what? You're a bit of a wizard. You just use water to yep. wake up? Um, me and coffee do not get along. I don't like the taste of it. Um, and whenever someone's like, it's an acquired taste, I'm like, no, I'm not going to train myself to like something that's nasty. Uh, <laughs> so, Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I just do water. I take water to bed at night. Um, and what it is, is it's ice water, because I do prefer it cold. But it, the ice melts while I sleep. So when I wake up in the morning, I have water right there that was prepared, handcrafted for me overnight <laughs> to drink the moment I wake up. Um, so that's how I do it. Water, maybe a couple jumping jacks and push-ups in the morning. But there I'm, you go. I'm ready to go. Chris Reese's morning routine, folks. It's what I do when I get out of bed. Self-care with Chris. <laughs> so. <laughs>
<laughs> we love it. All right. 643 now. A weekend warm up starts today. Once Chris Reese finishes his push ups, his little morning warm up, it's going to have more double digits that keep rising coming up in his first warm weather. And we're back in the 608. Josh Bratter will show us how a local ballet studio is using its classes as life lessons for kids. We'll be right back. Eat, play, golf safely at Vitense Golf Land. Surfaces in the grill and bar, the heated outdoor golf suites, and indoor miniature golf course are treated with Biodome for long-lasting surface protection and face masks are worn by staff. Make reservations for the Vitense Golf Land golf suites and indoor miniature golf at Vitense.com. Health researchers are trying to learn more about diseases like arthritis, cancer, asthma, diabetes. Join the All of Us Research Program to share your health information. With your partnership, they will learn more faster. Furniture in downtown Baraboo should probably be called McGann Furniture and Flooring because we're the area's oldest and most experienced floor covering store. Our friendly staff will explain the many types of flooring available, answer questions, and make suggestions so you can choose what's best for your home and lifestyle. We always offer free in-home measurements and estimates and use the finest installers in the entire area. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in today and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. Maintenance fee, ATM fee. Can I hide in your fort? Sure, but the fort fee is 10 cookies. Psst. Need a place to hide from fees? With a BMO Harris Smart Advantage account, you can get cash with nearly as many fee-free ATMs in the U.S. as the three largest banks combined. And no monthly maintenance fee. Huh, do you hear that? No monthly maintenance fee. Fort fees are subject to the governing bodies of the fort. She did not learn that from me. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. And right now, get a $200 bonus when you open a new BMO Harris Smart Advantage account. I grew up working in my family's supper clubs. This is where it started with us as far as the fish that we serve at Culver's today. We source the finest cod and batter each filet by hand and always cook it to order. That beautiful golden brown color and flaky on the inside. The fish fry is a Midwest tradition. It's about families coming together. I love bringing this tradition to guests everywhere. Mom and Dad would be proud. Welcome to Delicious. The indoor miniature golf course at Vitens Golfland is a safe, fun putting experience. Face masks are worn by staff. Biodome for surface protection is applied to putting and play areas. Visit Vitens.com for a tee time or just stop in to play indoor miniature golf at Vitens Golfland. It's been 10 years since Wisconsin's controversial Act 10 legislation was born to waves of backlash. News 3 Now examines how Act 10 has reshaped education in our state. Has it had a significant impact on how well students learn? Monday at 10. Waking up to stuff like this should never be a surprise. Download the Channel 3000 First Warn app and be ready for whatever Mother Nature throws our way. We're back. 646, the last year has been anything but easy for most people, especially businesses working from indoor spaces. But there's a children's ballet school in the 608 working to adapt and fit the needs of families during this time. Josh Breider joining us now with that story. Good morning, Josh. Hey guys, good morning, happy Friday. If your child is a fan of fairy tales and dancing and doesn't like to compete in sports or other activities, there's a pretty cool opportunity for you right here in the 608. We got an inside look at Storybook Ballet, which you'll find on the bottom level of Hilldale Mall in her Metcalf's Market. Okay. Meredith Mass first opened up her studio back in 2000, moving into her current location a few years later. The former professional ballerina teaches a classical ballet with a magical twist, including both story time and dancing. We hope that, um, you know, by, by in here talking about honesty within our fairy tale or talking about the kindness of the character or the sharing, how they shared with another character in the story um, or how, you know, maybe that was not a nice thing to do in the story, that that will be sort of these life lessons that we can explore while we're dancing that they can take to, take to the outside world. To 
Like a lot of other places over the last year, this business was hit pretty hard by the pandemic, but now she's up and going again with limited in-studio classes for the kiddos and also options available over Zoom. Her classes are offered specifically for ages three to nine, and it's non-competitive and non-recital focused. Meredith also recently published a book, so if you'd like to learn more about her or Storybook Ballet, you can visit the story on channel3000.com. Just click on the in the 608 tab. Guys, I thought it was pretty cool to see that this is non-competitive and non-recital focused. As a kid growing up, I always hated that competition aspect of being in sports and activities, so I think this is something that a lot of kids that are like that are really going to enjoy. Yeah, a different option for folks out there. Thanks, Josh. All right, 648, let's turn it over to Chris Reese with a quick check. Hey, Chris. Hey, we're watching the weather as we go into the weekend. The tail of two weekends as well. We're going to see sunshine for the first half. That comes your direction on Saturday. Then we watch the snow chances on Sunday, and that's going to be throughout the day with falling snow. So, Josh Breider, uh, if you want to do some ballet, the Reese Manor <laughs> basement doesn't have carpet yet, uh, so I'll take you up <laughs> on that one. But ultimately, uh, take it easy this weekend. We're going to time that out and fine-tune those details coming up after the break. Thanks, Chris. Stick around. The Morning Sprint's coming up next. We'll be right back. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It's your last chance for the biggest President's Day sale in Wisconsin at Ashley Home Store. Get our very best deals of the season, including doorbusters up to 50% off. Plus, take bonus holiday discounts off our sale prices and interest-free financing for five years. Ashley Home Store. Going Cars is breaking into spring with huge savings. You can get a 2016 or 17 Dodge Grand Caravan starting at $10,995 or $175 per month. That's right. You can buy a 2016 or 17 Dodge Grand Caravan at only $10,995 or $175 per month. Don't miss out on these huge spring deals with over 500 vehicles in stock. So just hurry in today and ask for my sister, Crystal the Pistol Gobin. Or my brother, Dealing Donovan Gobin. You gotta go to Gobin. GobinCars.com. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2021. Nominate your favorites online for the Best of Madison in over 140 categories, including general heating and air conditioning, best heating and cooling, celebrating 75 years of serving the Madison community, and Hooper Corporation, Best Plumber, Madison's premier plumber for your home and business. Go to madisonmagazine.com to nominate your favorites to be the very best of Madison. But hurry, nominations end February 28th. The new Detroit style from Pizza Hut. It's got two layers of pepperoni, and the best part? Crispy cupped pepperonis up top. Is 80 pepperonis too much? You're darn right it is. Try Detroit double pepperoni today. No one out pizzas the Hut. Wisconsin weather can be frustrating. Get the latest forecast, alerts, and detailed traffic reports from the News 3 Now team. Download the Channel 3000 Firstborn app, sponsored by Group Health Cooperative, and be prepared for anything headed our way. Madison Magazine's Restaurant Week is new and updated for 2021. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course menu at a special price for dining in at the restaurant or for takeout that you can enjoy at home. Dining with a choice. Don't miss Restaurant Week 2021, February 22nd through the 27th. Additional support provided by Wisconsin Beef Council and E&J Gala Winery. For Restaurant Week menus and details, visit madisonmagazine.com. At U.S. Cellular, we believe everyone deserves 5G. So we're building our powerful 5G network for the millions of Americans who live outside of New York and L.A., like teachers in Madison and small business owners in Rockford. That's why we've included 5G on all plans, no extra charge for everyone, whether you're working or playing. All U.S. Cellular plans include 5G, no extra charge. Get the new Samsung Galaxy S21 5G free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Wisconsin's biggest President's Day appliance sale ends Tuesday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Get guaranteed delivery in five days or less on in-stock appliances and no interest financing for 18 months at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline. News 3 Now, your vaccine information headquarters.
652, time for the morning sprint. Researchers are finally starting to include pregnant women in vaccine trials. The expecting moms in Pfizer's trial have received their first doses. 4,000 healthy pregnant women between 24 and 34 weeks along are enrolled. The trial won't just look at the safety of the vaccine for the women, but also for their babies. Infants will be monitored until they turn six months old. President Biden scheduled to visit a Pfizer vaccine plant in Michigan today. The winter storms blanketing the country have caused delays in vaccine shipments and deliveries, forcing appointment cancellations or delays in at least 32 states. The president will continue his vaccination push at a virtual G7 event. He plans to unveil a $2 billion U.S. contribution to a global COVID vaccine initiative. That will boost efforts to distribute shots to low- and middle-income countries as wealthier ones take the limited supply. It's his first meeting with G7 leaders as president. A local radio station personality facing a tentative child pornography possession charge is due in court today. Matthew Bradshaw Jones, who goes by Jackson Jones on Q106, is no longer on the air at the station. Online records suggest official charges haven't been filed yet. News 3 Now does partner with Q106 for agriculture news. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway is tabling any expansion of the Monona Terrace for now. She says a proposed development would have to wait until after the city financially recovers from the pandemic. The State Journal reports a study commissioned before the pandemic found the city should expand the terrace to maximize its economic benefit. New video here of a fire at an apartment complex in San Antonio, Texas. Firefighters struggled to put the fire out with little to no water. Fire hydrants were frozen over, so they had to rely on the water in their trucks, which quickly ran out, so they had to scramble to get more. Residents had already been struggling through power outages and freezing temperatures and are now displaced. Those widespread power outages and icy conditions are creating big challenges for the food supply. Major chains have had to close some stores because they either don't have power or don't have enough workers. Four locations that are still open. Customers say they've been waiting in long lines just to be greeted by empty shelves once they do get in. Look, it, it was obviously a mistake, and in hindsight, I, did, I wouldn't have done it. Texas Senator Ted Cruz there. He is back in Texas this morning after spending a day in Mexico. He planned to stay through the weekend, but faced significant backlash and changed plans. People at the airport took pictures of him preparing to board his flight as millions in his state were without heat or power in sub-zero temperatures. Cruz does not have an on-the-ground role in their response to the winter storm, and he says his daughters asked him to take the trip, and he wanted to be a good dad. Folks in Wanakee can expect to see some flames tomorrow. Firefighters will be doing live burn trainings. They'll be working in buildings owned by Dane County Parks just off of Highway 19. Dane and DeForest Fire Departments will also be on hand. Before the next round of snow comes, Make sure your snowblower uh, works good, and it's not one of these. Uh, Toro is recalling 6,700 of these snowblowers because of an amputation hazard. The model number is right there on your screen in orange. No injuries have been reported. The models are sold on, uh, online and in stores through Home Depot and Ace Hardware. And of course, we are watching the beautiful sunrise this morning. Our temperature is at nine degrees as we are waking up and heading out the door. We're going to warm up as we go throughout the day. We'll also see a little bit more sunshine, single digits for all of us. The radar throughout the Badger State is quiet for now, but I'm watching our next storm system. It's developing over the northern Rockies, and that's going to be moving towards us as we head into the weekend. In fact, as we time it out, this is early Sunday afternoon. The snow moves in. We're in the thick of it at dinner time. That moves out as we move into the early morning. Thank you, Chris. And thanks for joining us this week, folks. Have a great weekend. See you back here Monday.